the following creation is just like the previous X and Y um, coordinate uh, plotter uh, but this one, instead of manually entering up to six coordinates here, you enter an equation down here in the green, and it'll do all the rest for you. The equation should not, none of the numbers should be more, should lead to more than six, because as you can see, this graph stops at six. So you need to make certain that the lines are that uh, the plots don't go off the, the graph. So to be safe, we start out with 2x negative 2y equals 8. After you do that, just as the young math teacher instructed on your teacher math help instructed you to do, my template breaks it down for you. 2x minus 2y equals 8. We need to get rid of the 2x so that we're left with a y. So the first thing we do is we need to subtract 2x from both sides. Here we've done that to get rid of the 2x. Now under the 8 we need to do the same thing but instead of getting rid of it we bring it down so it becomes negative 2x minus 8. Now we need to bring down the y. So we have 2y. Now we need to get rid of the 2 next to the y. So we're going to divide 2 into that or subtract 2 from it however you want to think of it. I think of it as dividing. I think of it as always um, subtracting from the, the first, which is either the x or the y, and I think of it as dividing into whatever numbers to the right. So that's the way that I remember to do it. So here, if I subtract 2, because it doesn't sound right to say divide, because divide would leave a 1. So I like to say subtract uh, Although we usually do a negative and a negative, in this case we're going to keep it a positive. So it's positive uh, 2 uh, into the other to make it 1 or to get rid of it so that it's left just y, y, with y. And this one, under the 2x minus 8, we're going to always divide 2 into positive 2 into positive 8 leaves positive 4. So now we have y that we brought down equals negative 2 over positive 2 x minus 4. Now m would equal the negative 2 over positive 2 and the b would equal negative 4, whatever's at the end. Now, we need to go back up here. The coordinates plot for you. Uh, basically, the coordinates would be for that, it would be two coordinates. The first one would be 0 for x and 4 for y, and the next coordinate would be 2 for x and negative 6 for y. If you come over here, it plots it for you. Notice it's in the negative for the y and positive for the x. Another way to look at it, as the young math instructor or teacher had stated, where wherever you have a b, the b is what you plot first. It's negative 4. Negative 4, the B represents the X axis. So the X axis is what's top to bottom. So since it's a negative, we need to go down. So it's 1, 2, 3, and 4. And we see the first plot goes there. The second plot would be from that particular place using this fraction. 
The top one is negative 2, and that represents the, the y-axis again. The bottom two represents the x-axis. So, from the four, negative 4 here, we go down to two more negatives. 1, 2. And then we go over to positive for the x. 1, 2. And therefore, you have your next axis, or um, your intersection for the x and the y, and you can go ahead and draw the line there. Let's go ahead and not really change this, but it's two. It's a negative. Uh, it's a, mo a subtraction here. Let's put a plus here. See what happens. So now we have. 2x plus 2y equals 8. Look at what happened. It's no longer on the negative side of the y and x intercept. I'm sorry, of uh, the, the graph. Now you see it's positive. And why is it positive? Let's look down here and see what it did. Well, notice now that the, the b is a positive 4. The m is still a negative 2 over positive 2, but it's the b that has changed. So now we go up on the x-axis, positive 4, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then for the b equation, which is negative 2 over positive 2, the negative 2 represents y. So on the y-axis, we go down to negative 1, 2. Then over to positive for the x-axis, 1, 2. Of course, then you go ahead and you draw your line to connect those dots. And we'll do one more. 4. We change it to 4x plus 2y. Let's change this to 6. Notice what happened. Let's see here. And let's look at the steps. All right. Thanks for watching.